hello everybody so for this video I am going to talk about how to solve the system of equations in two variables by substitution okay so these are the steps outlined in the module that I have uploaded and we are going to follow these steps uh, solving an example all right so Suppose we have a system of equations, uh, negative x and then plus y equals negative 5 and 2x minus 5y is equal to 1. Okay, So we have here two equations and two unknowns. We are going to solve this by substitution following these steps. For the first step, we are going to solve one of the two equations for one of the variables in terms of the other. So, pipili lang tayo ng isang equation. Okay, we are going to choose which equation, the first or the second, and we are going to solve for one variable in terms of the other. So, suppose... Uh, we take the first equation okay so this is step one we get the first equation and then we are going to solve for y in terms of x okay we are going to solve for y in terms of x so this uh, negative x is transposed to the other side of the equation it becomes positive x and then minus 5. Okay, that's the step 1. We have solved for y in terms of x using the first equation. And then step 2, we substitute the expression for this variable into the second equation. So yung hindi natin nagamit na equation, di ba pinili natin ito sa step 1. So we are going to use the second equation, substituting y equals x minus 5 dito. So let us use the second equation, 2x minus 5y is equal to 1. And let us substitute y is equal to x minus 5. So we are going to write, Instead of writing y, papalitan na natin siya ng x minus 5 is equal to 1. And on this part, we already have an equation with only one variable x. Di ba? So we can now solve for the value of x by uh, employing the different uh, rules in solving for equality okay. and then uh, combine like terms we have negative 3x is equal to 1 minus 25 we have negative 3x is equal to negative 24 we divide both sides by a negative 3 Therefore, x is equal to 8. Okay, that's, uh, that's step 2. We have solved for the remaining variable. Okay? And then step 3. Let me write in here. We have step 3. Substitute that solution. Itong na-solve natin. We substitute that into either of the original equations to find the value of the first variable. Okay? So either we use the first equation or the second equation to solve for y. But in this case, we have already an equation na y dito. y is equal to x minus 5. Tama? So we can use this as well to solve for the value of y. Tama? So y is equal to x minus 5 substituting itong nag-solve natin na x dito so y is equal to 8 minus 5 so y is equal to 3 
Yan, na-solve na natin yung value ng x and y. And then, if possible, we'll continue reading. If possible, write the solution as an ordered pair. Okay, so therefore, the solution is... Okay, ordered pair, ibig sabihin, mas mauna yung x coordinate. So, we have 8, comma, 3. And then, for the last step, we have to check the solution. Okay, checking. This is step... This is the last step, step 4. Checking uh, the ordered pair, itong na-solve natin na solution. Should... Uh, when substituted dito sa original na equation, should make both of the equations true. Okay? So, for the first equation, we have negative 8 plus y. So, that's plus 3. Is it equal to negative 5? Negative 5 is indeed equal to negative 5. So, our solution is okay in the first equation. In the second equation, we have 2 times 8 minus 5 times 3. Is it equal to 1? This is 16 minus 15. Is it equal to 1? 1 is indeed equal to 1. Okay, so our solution, therefore, is this one. 8 Three.